or a video, it's kind of nice to have a backdrop. Arthur, stop flushing! Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different from normal. I'm not doing a build video, I'm doing a shop tour. Now I really don't like shop tours normally, but I want to do something a little bit different, something that other people haven't done before. And really I'm in the middle of rearranging my shop and so I kind of want to use this as an opportunity, number one, to show you what my shop looks like, number two, to show you what I'm thinking about doing it, but number three, to get your ideas. How would you uh, reorganize the shop? Where would you put things? How would you uh, set things up? So I want to kind of jump into this and uh, maybe get some ideas flowing and how a hand tool shop should be set up. So first let's set back here with my, my background wall. Um, this is kind of put up out of necessity. This is an old set of shelves that I had. Originally I was gonna be putting all my tools underneath the bench, um, but I found I like having lumber under there more. I wanna add more weight to the bench, and so putting lumber down there works fantastically. And also I wanted a backdrop for videos, and so, tools, but the problem is this is a set of shelves. Um, it's not really good for holding tools. So eventually I wanna build a tool cabinet for most of my tools, and something, not shelves. <laughs> but until I figure out what I'm gonna do with my shop, I don't wanna build a tool cabinet for that. Um, I have my clamps over here. I have several videos on those. I absolutely love them. Um, and I like to set up a different way of uh, clamp storage, although the wall works fairly well for those. Um, my saw hanging here. Eventually I wanna make a saw till as well. Right now all my saws are just put on a hook um, on the end of this, and so they're just hanging on the side here. I don't wanna do that in the future, but uh, yeah, a saw too will be coming up soon as well. One thing a lot of people have asked me about are the jars up top here, and those are individual jars from um, sh different projects that I've had. So the wood shavings that came off a particular project, um, sort of a memory, but also they're a good way of storing the wood scrap. So if I ever want that color in the future, um, I can kind of match it up with that. I, I just like having them. They make a good design. Eventually, when I have my, my finished wall, I'd like to actually have an entire wall of jars that actually show off some of the colors of woods and things like that. I thought that'd be kind of fun. Although, also over here, I have my sticker wall. Um, if you have a sticker and you want it up on the wall, go ahead and send it to me. Um, if you want one in return, let me know, and I will uh, send that out as well. So this is my main bench. I made this. Uh, this is the first hand tool project I ever really made, uh, and it was a blast. It's eight foot long, 24 inches wide, kind of a Rubeau frame style. Um, all of the lumber is just uh, construction grade studs. It is really, really cheap. I think it was like, uh, what, 24 two by fours total in this thing. The legs are just um, sandwiched two by fours or um, sistered two by fours. Uh, it's not quite as sturdy as I would like. The two by four uh, don't provide quite as much lateral strength as I would like. Uh, it'd be better if I made them out of two by sixes. But at the time I had almost absolutely no money. Um, and this is a great bench and I'm intending to have this for years and years and years to come. This will probably soon become my uh, secondary bench or my dirty bench. Uh, whereas it is a mess right now and I really don't have a problem with that but I do a lot of tool restores and I don't want all of that oil and gunk getting into my projects. So I'd like to have one bench that I can make for dirty things like that and uh, another one in the future that will be a little bit better for fine woodworking. Um, in the past, I've put on this chisel rack on here. I love this because I can just take this out and move it around. So if I have something that needs to swing over this side, I can get rid of this really quickly. And I have a couple other places in the shop where I can set this. But when I'm working at my bench, every one of my chisels are then quickly within reach. On the end, I have a, uh, lay, my, I use it like a tail vise, but it's actually a face vise with a dog that slides up. Use this probably the more than anything else. And then I have two leg vices on my legs. Uh, I actually uh, did a video on making this one back here a while ago. And I like that for the long surface, though I haven't used both um, very often. Every now and then I find a reason why I like having both. And uh, other than that, I often will have a project in every vice I have. But yeah, you can never have enough vices. This is my random catch-all storage, and I'd really like to make something better. They're just a couple cabinets that I literally picked up alongside the road, and I have all of my finishes and things up here. I'd like to have actually have a fire cabinet to put those in, and then a lot of my random tools, extra bits, and things like that are in here. So this is just kind of a mess, and eventually I want to have a couple cabinets to store this in and make it look a lot better. But for now, I'm um, just picking these upside the road, worked fairly well, but we'll see what we'll do with those in the future. 
Now here is my kids bench and because I am a stay at home dad, my kids are almost always in the shop with me. So when I'm working at my bench, they're over here banging away on their own bench. And I have this little moxin vise that they can quickly and easily use and they can clamp things on here and they can, I have a set of old dull chisels that I don't really have a problem with them messing with. And they just hack into this and make it look funny. I have an old brace and bit and a saw and things for them just to have some fun and play with. And uh, they're starting to actually make some things that are um, interesting and they're learning how to cut and they're learning how to hold a chisel and a mallet and they're starting to do some fun things. And so it's kind of cool to have them in the shop with me. I did uh, several videos on making this bench and vise. So if you want to see those, I'll leave a link to those as well. So this is where I keep most of my lumber. The red buckets right up there are just scrap. They're eventually gonna be going out to the burn pile. And then I have smaller pieces that I might use. Some of it's valuable. Most of this is gonna end up going to the burn pile. Uh, once this bucket gets over gets overflowing, then I, re uh, I throw the rest of it into the burn pile and then just leave a few valuable things in there. Um, I have scrap pine. Pine is actually good when you're a hand tool guy because it's good for uh, demonstrating things and showing things very easily. Um, and so there's some pine and some poplar pieces in here. Red oak and then a few other woods that I have, hickory and uh, uh, box elder and some other odd things like uh, um, <laughs> yeah, this thing. <laughs> um, and then back here, I have my massive stash of white oak and some other things. And this pile used to all be here, um, but I have since gotten permission to move down and get some more. So let's talk about the other end of the shop and show you some of the new things that have come about. Now, I know this is a little dark, and this is kind of the meat of the whole show, is this area here. See, when I originally got the shop, my space was 10 foot by 8 foot, and everything I did was in that side of the shop. I made my bench inside of that shop, I made several pieces of furniture, I made most of the first year's worth of videos in a space that's 10 foot by 8 foot. And then I got a little bit more space on the other side, and now I've kind of convinced my wife to let me have this space over here. So I'm slowly working into moving into this space over here, and eventually my shop will be 10 foot by 20 feet with an office space on the other end. And so I'm going to have some space to actually do some more videos and more things. And eventually this area here will become the heart of the shop. What I want to do is build a second bench um, with a different top, uh, not stud grade, um, and something a little bit nicer, about six foot long, and put that here lengthwise so that I can work behind the bench and then turn this wall into the backdrop. So that means I'm going to need to put lighting up here. I'm thinking LEDs, but I don't know. I'd love to hear your ideas on that. Um, I'm thinking about different things for the backdrop. Number one, there'll be a tool cabinet. There'll be um, a saw till, there'll be clamp, clamp storage, uh, there'll be other things like that that make this look a little bit more like a, a show backdrop, um, but still being very functional. So as a hand tool guy, I like to have a space that's about four foot by four foot that I'm almost always working in. This is where like 99% of my work goes. It has my vise that I'm, that I'm really using a lot. All of my tools work with arm's reach so that I'm very rarely moving from this position. So having a wall of tools back here that I'm regularly using from and then my bench in front of me is very, very functional and very useful so that I can always be turning around and grabbing things and working at it. So I'm gonna be turning this into my hand tool palace and I'm really looking forward to doing that. And so on the other end of the shop, I'm gonna be moving a few things around, but I kinda of wanna introduce this space to you because once I start building another bench and start building a tool wall, you're gonna see this a lot more. Hopefully that's going to be this summer sometime, but I don't know, I gotta finish my wife's dresser first and then I'm gonna be working on a flywheel for a lathe and a few other things. And then once that's done, then I'm gonna work on my second bench. And once the second bench is done, then it's gonna be tool storage and there's gonna be a lot of fun things going on in here. So I'd love to hear your ideas. What would you like to see in here? And uh, how could I make this amazing? First, I have to get rid of all this storage and I have to get rid of the lumber. And if you notice, my wife's uh, wedding dress is no longer in here. And so this is becoming a shop. So now the camera is actually standing where I was just standing. So I'm all the way at the end where the backdrop will be. And so this is my current shop. Eventually I'd like to actually take this bench and move it up against the wall. So I have one wall that's all lumber storage, whether that's that wall or this wall. And then the other wall will be for my restoring. So I'll have a long bench that just becomes a drop zone and a restor restoration place where I can do dirty work. And I don't mind about getting grease and oil onto the bench where I'm gonna be doing woodworking. Um, so then I'll also have a space for a treadle leg and probably a treadle scroll saw and a couple other things like that in this shop. Um, and then of course my new drill press that's sitting up over there. So there's a lot of other things I can do with this space and really make it very functional and very useful because it's, it's a, for my standards, it's a huge space. And eventually this area back here, I'm gonna be putting up a door 
um, and this will be turned into my office area. And so that is something I'm looking forward to, having an actual office down here so that I can do some videos closer to where I'm working. But the main shop area is uh, 10 foot by, try to remember, just be able to get this, uh, 22 feet. Um, Oh, and by the way, if you're ever doing like shop organization or figuring things out, um, save yourself some time and buy one of these laser tape measures. They're extremely useful. Um, I got this one. This is from uh, Track Life. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And they, they save so much time um, just figuring things out. We recently did a floor plan of the entire house so we could figure out moving furniture around and things like that. And uh, my wife loves that. So yeah, definitely get a laser tape measure. It's quicker than running a tape out and trying to figure out and working around things. But figuring out the space layout for this, I'm figuring, trying to figure out where I'm going to put bench and where I'm going to put lumber storage and where I'm going to put tool storage. And seeing how all those things fit into this space is something I'm trying to envision ahead of time. So I'd love to hear your ideas on what I should be thinking about in this space. What are some uh, tools that I might be getting eventually? What are some organization ideas that I might need? Uh, is there anything like that that I am overlooking? So I would love, love to hear your ideas. Um, several of the videos over the summer are going to be about rearranging the shop and moving some things around. And so I kind of want to get into a little bit more detail of how to best set up a hand tool shop. What are some things that we can do to make them a little bit more efficient? Even though hand tools really aren't about speed and efficiency, it's always fun to make things as good as they can get, or at least for the time being. So <laughs> yeah, that's about it for today. This shop is um, something that I am considering to be absolutely huge. Uh, you know, 22 feet by 10 feet is massive, especially considering I used to be in 10 foot by 8 foot. Um, this is, is fantastic, especially for hand tools. It's all the space I need. And I'm looking forward to making some changes and updating things and actually turning this into a decent studio for video work. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please go ahead and smash that uh, like button and uh, go ahead and subscribe as well. I want to say an incredible thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why this channel continues today. If you'd like to help out with that, you can find out more in the uh, link right over here. Also, if you did like the video, feel free to check out one of my others. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.